Implementation shortfall. Implementation shortfall is an analysis that allows investors to better understand the true cost of executing a trade. Oftentimes when an investor is trying to enhance portfolio return, one of the one of the things they want to do is make sure they pay as little as possible for transaction costs, right? So I put up a little scenario on here that will help, help explain how an investor can really look at all the costs that are involved in the execution of a, of a trade. So we can assume that an investor is decided to buy 2,000 shares of company X, right? 2,000 shares of company X on Monday night. So we're assuming right now it's Monday night. And then the investor wants to buy 2,000 shares of company X and the closing price on Monday night for, uh, for per share of a company X is $25, right? So now the investor wants to get a little greedy and so he set a price limit to purchase the shares at $24.50. So now, let's so assume it's now Tuesday morning and market opens, there's movement in the market and the, the, the price per share of company X moves up and down but it never dropped to $24.50. And then on, on Tuesday night, actually the shares closed at a, at a price of $27. So now none of the shares got executed, none of the shares got purchased. So now the investor still decided that's, that's still a good investment. He still wants to um, invest in that company, in Company X. So he decided that now he's going to adjust his order to purchase the shares at a, a price of $27.50 or, or, or better. So now on Tuesday, on, oh, I'm sorry, on, on, on Wednesday, um, now Wednesday morning, market opens, and 1,400 shares got, got purchased, got executed. And then, but price keep going up, and 600 of the shares never got executed. But on, on Wednesday now, on Wednesday night, now the price per share of company X closed at $29, right? So, um, and then, you know, 600 shares never got executed, so it just never got through. So now the guy paid a cost of ten dollars to purchase the 1,400 shares. That's his uh, trading cost. So now, um, for for the typical investor, they I mean for the not typical for the unsophisticated investor, he would have thought like really the cost of this trade is just the ten dollars. But the ten dollars is just explicit cost, just the cost you see. But there are a lot of implicit or like unseen costs that are associated with this trade. So to measure them, we're going to do this implementation shortfall analysis, which begins with basically using what, it, what they call an imaginary portfolio. For the imaginary portfolio, we're going to assume that the 2,000 shares were purchased at the $25, right? That, that originally, well, well first let, let me back out a little bit. The, just because just, there are different names, so there's different prices. So the $25, which is the price on Monday night, that, that's when the investor originally wanted to invest in the company, we're going to call that the benchmark price. Now, on Tuesday night, when his orders, none of them got executed, he still wanted to invest, and the price closes at $27, we're going to call that the relevant decision price. And then on Tuesday night, when, I'm sorry, on Tuesday during the day, I guess the 1,400 shares got executed at a price of $27.50, we're going to call that execution price. Now, on, I'm sorry, that's Wednesday, Wednesday during the day, because Tuesday prices closed at $27, so he still wanted to buy and market open on Wednesday, and then, you know, 1,400 shares were purchased at $27.50, that's the execution price. And then, on, on Wednesday night, when prices closes at when prices close at $29 and the rest, $600, share, 600 shares never got executed, we're going to call that the trade cancellation price, just so you're kind of familiar with the terminologies. So, now the imaginary portfolio, it, uh, it assumes that 2,000 shares were purchased at $25, which is the benchmark price. So that would have cost $50,000 to establish this portfolio. And on and then uh, on Wednesday night, when prices were closed at $29, just if uh, this portfolio were real, the $29 times 2,000 shares that this guy hold would have now created a market value of $58,000. Now the paper portfolio would have created have a profit of $58,000 minus $50,000, which is $8,000 in profit. 
Now, notice that for the imaginary portfolio, they do not take into account the transaction cost of 10 bucks. That's just the way they do it. Now, for the real portfolio, the guy actually purchased 1,400 shares at a price of $27.50, and that would have that costed $3,500, plus he paid 10 bucks and to execute the trade. That's his uh, explicit brokerage commission fee. So the total cost of the portfolio is $38,510. So the real portfolio's market value, though, is on Wednesday night is 1,400 shares times $29. So that's the closing price on Wednesday night. So the total market value of the portfolio, the real portfolio, is $40,600. So now if we, and that, that's, and now we're assuming we're not taking the, into account the cash, obviously the, the rest, the, the, the remainder of money that this guy would have used to purchase uh, the 600 shares, we just don't take into account at all because it would have, you would have to add it to the cost and the market value because, you know, it, it's just cash and never got, never got purchased. So, the real profit now on the portfolio is the forty thousand dollars market value on Wednesday night minus the cost of the portfolio, which is two thousand ninety dollars. That's how much profit this guy made. In fact, now, the implementation shortfall analysis, so we allow us to essentially compare the profit of the the paper portfolio from the profit of the real portfolio. Because the profit of the paper portfolio would have been $8,000, and this guy actually made only $2,090. So he missed an opportunity to make $5,910. That's your implementation shortfall cost in dollar. So to look at the implementation shortfall cost in percentage, we divide the uh, $5,910 by $50,000. And that's the implementation shortfall cost in percentage is 11,000, uh, 11, sorry, it's 11 percent, 82, 11.82 percent. So we're going to now break down the components of the implementation shortfall. So the first component is the explicit cost. We have that, that's one of them. We have realized profit, delay cost, and missed opportunity cost, right? So the explicit cost is a 10 bucks commission fee that he pays. If we, if we, and we're also going to look at it in percentage. So the, the 10 bucks divided by $50,000, uh, which is the, the, the value of the imaginary, of the, is, the, is the cost of the imaginary portfolio, the $50,000, the cost of the imaginary portfolio. So we divide the 10,000, sorry, the $10 by 50,000, that is 26 basis points. The realized profit is basically the difference between the execution price and the relevant decision price, divided by the benchmark price, multiplied by the portion of the portfolio that got executed, which is 1,400 divided by 2,000. So that equals 1.40%. The delay cost, that's the cost for not executing the trade on time, is the difference between the 27 this is, sorry, the difference between the relevant decision price and the benchmark price divided by the benchmark price multiplied by the percentage of the portfolio that got executed. That is the 1,400 divided by 2,000 in, in percentage that turned out to be 5.60%. And the missed opportunity cost is the cost for not for, for, for the portion of the portfolio that never got executed. So you missed an opportunity to get a profit on that. Of that portion of the portfolio. So that's the that's the twenty nine dollars the closing price on Wednesday. That's the trade cancellation price we call it, minus the benchmark price divided by by the benchmark price multiplied by the portion of the portfolio that didn't get executed, which is the six hundred shares divided by the two thousand shares. That's the original uh, number of shares he wanted to purchase. That turned out to be four point eight percent. That's amount of that's the amount of profit he missed an opportunity to make. So now, for implementation shortfall as a total together, you can see we can add the explicit cost plus the, which is the explicit cost here, uh, which is the 0.2%, 26 basis point. So we add that to the realized profit, which in this case is a realized loss, and realized profit or loss, but in this case it's a realized loss of 1.4%, plus his uh, delay cost, which is 5.6% plus 
plus his uh, missed opportunity cost, which equals 11.82%. So this is the total cost it, that, that it, it, take, it took to execute this trade. Because this investor was not, did not execute the trade on time, um, when he had an opportunity to buy at $25 because he was trying to get a little more aggressive. So these are just different things to consider when you place a trade. And that's implementation short.